Hey guys, Automatic Garage back today. Got this same truck I've seen in several other videos before. I think the last video on this one was a stuck injector. On the driver's side, I believe it was four, cylinder number four, not sure. Go back and watch the video if you want. Anyways, that was a stuck injector. So now, same truck, same set of injectors, only has 2,000 miles on it. I'm gonna show you the issue we had. I got a quick uh, video clip here of what it was doing. I'm gonna show you that. So it was white smoking like crazy. We pulled, I had a cylinder five contribution code. So I turned cylinder five injector off. I uh, let the truck run, was expecting the smoke to clear up, thinking it was a stuck injector or something like that. Uh, didn't clear up, injector buzzed fine. Uh, took it all apart here, let me turn you around. So we took it all apart here, we got cylinder five out. So we got one, three, five right there, pulled it out. Injector cup looks fine, just inspecting it. I know I did not pressure test the coolant system. I didn't feel like that's where we were going with this anyways. Pulled the injector out. You can see that our O-rings are fine. There's nothing on our little screens here. Upper injector O-ring is fine, nothing wrong with that. Our wiring harness was fine. We did all of our wiggling around. We had a good connection on it. Nothing was wrong with that. I uh, had carbon all over the tip. I pulled, or I cleaned the carbon off and then it revealed, which I'm gonna try to show you here on this video. So trying to hold everything still. So if you look right there, it actually starts right up there where the carbon still is. Runs right there through the number six, right there through the edge of number four, and then comes all the way down here to the tip. So we have a cracked injector tip. So the spray pattern was just absolute garbage on it and probably just dumping a whole bunch of fuel all at one time, basically, instead of having any kind of spray pattern to it. This truck is not tuned at all. He said he was not towing heavy with it. He said his girlfriend was actually driving it. He said she drives like a grandma, but that is a cracked injector tip there. So the disappointing part of this is, is this is the second injector with this truck I've had issues with, and this is a brand new set of OEM Ford injectors. So I've always felt like I've done the right thing, put OEM injectors back in these trucks. Uh, of course, unless we're turning one up and we go with Warren diesel injection or something like that. But uh, anyways, we're gonna swap this out. I'm gonna have to eat the labor on this again because it's not his fault. It's not my fault either, but it's a, a Ford thing. And uh, I'm not even positive who is remanning these Ford injectors now. If y'all know, comment down below. But anyways, just wanted to show y'all real quick that I, I was kind of scratching my head on this till I cleaned the carbon off that. And I was like, well, there's the problem. We got a cracked injector tip. So Ford's bringing us a new injector in the morning. No cost to me. Like I said, just eating the labor on it. We'll have this back together. And I'm sure John is not feeling super confident with the truck now with a new set of injectors and having two problems now in the course of about two months. It's all because of the injectors. So uh, anyways, Automated Garage signing out. Like, subscribe, comment, check out all of our other content. Got a ton of 6.0 content, 7.3 stuff. Uh, about to do a, fuel, a full fuel system on a 6.7. This is a 38,000 original mile 6.0 here. Nothing's wrong with it. Just a whole bed full of parts, bulletproof diesel parts that they're wanting me to add to it. Uh, anyways, got a whole lot full of stuff out there. Been super busy with everything going on here at the shop, trying to stay on top of things. And uh, that's why I haven't been super consistent on uploading content. So y'all stick on with us. We got a lot of stuff coming and we'll holler at y'all later.